Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when like a dragon infinite wealth game is not loading. So if the game is not loading at all, or if the game is stuck on loading, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Now still you are facing the problem. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So make a right click on the game, select manage and then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder, open the game folder. And then over here you will find the game exe file. So scroll down. Now over here you can see exe file, make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and go over here and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Click on apply, click on OK and then make a double click launch the game. Still you are facing the problem. Next step is to make a right click once again, select properties and this time, I'm sorry, make a right click on this startup exe file, select properties and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Click on apply, click on OK, make a double click launch the game. If that does not work, uh, make a right click on the game once again, select properties and this time put a check over here which says run this program in compatibility mode for and then select Windows 8. If that does not work, you can even try Windows 7. So first of all, try Windows 8 and put a check on disable full screen optimization. Click on apply, click on OK and then launch the game. Make a double click and launch the game. If that does not work, this time select Windows 7 over here and then put a check click on apply click on ok and then launch the game make a double click if that does not work do the same thing with this exe file so select windows 8 over here put a check windows 8 and then put a check on disable full screen optimization click on apply click on ok and then launch the game if that does not work you can select windows 7 and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still the still you are facing the problem then this time go to properties once again and then if checking all these boxes does not help, then you can uncheck these boxes. So if it's not helping, uncheck all these boxes. Do the same thing with the second exe file. Properties, uncheck all these boxes. And then click on apply, click on OK. Now follow the next step. Next step is to Perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. So select the right product type and then select the right series. So I'm and then select your graphic card. So I'm selecting my graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here. Now, if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11 and then click on start search. Now, once you click on start search, scroll down. The latest GeForce game ready driver right now is driver version 551.23. So click on get download and then click on download now. Now, once the download is complete, run this exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see the screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom over here. Make sure that you select custom over here. Then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Now click on next and let the installation complete. And once the installation is complete, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. Now click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686. Now open the steam folder. Now open the steam apps folder. Now open the common folder and then open the game folder open runtime media and then select the game exe file and then click on add once it is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and then select the second exe file now click on add and then select options and then high performance now click on save again click on browse and if check if there are any other exe file 
so i think these are the only two exe files now once this is done now you can launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is important so go to the start menu go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to verify the game files now this is important this has worked for many players so it might work for you make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus just make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program if you are using windows security then open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 and then click on windows security if you have windows 10 you will have an option update in security then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection and then click on scroll down and then click on manage ransomware protection and then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps select the second exe file now click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now click on system and security windows defender firewall and then click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top and then click on allow another app now click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on open once the game is added now click on add over here again click on allow another app and then browse and then this time select the second exe file click on open and then click on add once again in my case this is already added now once the game is added over here now you can click on ok on the bottom now launch the game and then check next step is to delete the save game files now before you delete the save game files let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress so you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree then open file explorer and then open c drive open users folder and then open your username folder and then open app data if you don't see app data on the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to see app data open app data folder now open the roaming folder open if you find sega folder open sega folder here you can see like a dragon 8 folder now over here you will find all the save game files so you can delete the complete like a dragon 8 folder so make a right click and then click on delete once this is deleted now you can launch the game and then check next step is to try these in launch options so make a right click on the game select properties and then go to general tab in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then launch the game and then check if that does not work again make a right click select properties this time type in dash dx12 and then close this launch the game and then check still not working remove this empty this and then follow the next step now the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download you have to download both x86 and x64 so download x86 and x64 so click on the exe file and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair you might see the install option so if you see install click on install click on yes to allow and then run the second file as well again download x64 and then run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install over here
and let the installation complete make sure both the installation are complete and then restart the computer so once it is installed you have to restart the computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check Now still you are facing the problem. The next step is to now if you are able to launch the game, if you are not able to launch the game, you can skip this step. Now if you are able to launch the game, switch to borderless or window mode, turn off AMD FSR 3 frame generation. Now this has worked for many players and it might fix your stuttering issue with the game. So turn off AMD FSR 3 and turn off motion blur and lower down graphics settings so if you are able to launch the game you can launch the game first now once you launch go, launch the game now go to settings and then go to display settings now if sdr is on turn it off and then check now go to graphics settings now now once you go to graphics settings now if this is set to full screen if this is set to full screen, you can try borderless. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. You can even go for window mode. Now, if this is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more if you want. And then turn off the V-Sync and then check. Now, graphical quality. Now, if this is set to highest over here, if this is set to highest, you can try high. You can even go for medium or you can even go for low quality. You can lock the FPS at 60 and then go to advanced settings and then make sure everything is set to medium or high. A real time reflection. If you want to turn it off, you can turn it off and then check. Motion blur, I'm or it's already off. If it is on, you can turn it off and then check. Now scroll down. Over here you can see reflection quality. You can set it to medium or low. Now, if you're using DLS, uh, NVIDIA DLSS, then set it to quality. Now, over here, I'm using AMD FSR 2. If it, if you're using AMD FSR 2, you can, if this is set to balanced performance, you can set it to quality and then check. Now, scroll down. Over here, you will see AMD FSR 3 frame generation. Now, if this is on, turn it off. So, this has worked for many players. So, make sure that you turn it turn it off if you want to turn it on you can you can check if it's working fine fine but this has worked to fix crash and stuttering issue uh, when you turn this off it should fix it uh, this has worked for many players so you can try this once you make the changes now you can apply the settings apply the settings and then check the performance let me close this game now still you are facing the problem next step is to unplug external devices from the computer so if you have these devices connected disconnected also if you have any additional controller connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try, try launching the game on single monitor disable steam overlay now for this you can go to the game steam make a right click on the game select properties and turn up turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then check also close other overlay applications so if you have overlay on in discord turn it off if you have overlay on in geforce experience experience turn it off so close all the other overlay application and then check also close all the other close all the overclocking applications so if you have uh, like overclocking application like msi afterburner or river tuner uh, then make sure that you close uh, all the overclocking application and then check also, if you have any third party services running, make sure that you close all the third party services and then check. So make sure only the game and the Steam is running, rest close everything, including all the browsers. Also, if you have undervolted the computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now to perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration, go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all make sure that you put a check on disable uh, hide all microsoft services first in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case disable all option would be highlighted so click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart a computer and then launch the game next step is to 
increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the system bios so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have lenovo go to lenovo if you have hp go to hp website so go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS update available and then install the latest BIOS. Now, in case of laptop, when you update the system BIOS, make sure battery on a computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. Then update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. Now to uninstall the game, you can simply make a right click on the game and then manage uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then reinstall the game to C drive. So if the game is not installed in C drive, you can try to install the game to your C drive and make sure if that is ssd that would be great so try to install the game in c drive and if it is ssd that would be great now if the game is already installed in c drive in that case you can try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel